Hello, before I start I just want to mention a couple of things. I didn't receive a key from the developer, I am not a hype train traveler, and thirdly, I love indie games, I really like indie developers who actually go out of their way to stick to their concept of the game and their vision for the game especially. And to be honest, this game is more like a hype train than it should be. I don't think it's the fault of the developer or anyone else, but every YouTuber or influencer who got the key almost a month before the release just published a lot of video and content from the game and now people who will be buying the game will be under the impression that this is some kind of a revolutionary game that is super fun and super interesting to play. No, this is like playing the game in beta. Believe me, the game is so far from being finished that you'd be surprised at how little content there is in the game. You know what you do in the game? You press new game, you select something and then just play the game on a scenario. Which one of them is basically peaceful mode, the other one is meh, and the other one is war. <laughs> and that's about it, and then you make some uh, other stuff over here. Basically play around with some meters, but as you can see you have the early access map. There is barely any content in the game, so before you buy the game, the game is 30 euros at release with a discount, but the game will be 40 euros later. I don't think it's even worth half of that, because again, you don't have a campaign, you don't have a line of scenarios like you had in I don't know, Age of Empires or Age of Mythology or stuff like that. Again, it's probably a bad comparison, but you get the idea. I think a game like this needs a lot of scenarios, a lot of campaigns, a lot of challenges, a lot of interesting things to play around with. And the game currently has skirmish mode, which is not so interesting. So you'll probably only get about 20 to 40 hours of gameplay out of the game. So keep that in mind if you want to support the game during early access. Early access might last 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 years. I'm not joking. I'm not sure what the developer intends to do when it's um, done with the game, but I think the developers will introduce a lot of stuff. I think it's only one developer, Greg or something. Hi, Greg. So, this is an investment. You are basically kickstarting the game, more or less, because the amount of content that is in the game right now will probably not be to the taste of everyone who wants to play a game like this, a strategy game. Especially people who like to diversify the strategy game. So far it's great for what it is, but beyond that there's nothing else. So I wanted to see if I can customize my portrait, but I think we cannot do that. Also we'll play as Vlad Sepesh. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a decent Vlad Sepesh with the mustache and the other stuff. Also, what are these? It's Romanian stuff, you wouldn't understand, so I'll not even explain it. You can modify your coat of arms on a few... Things. I mean, this is one, two, three, four. So four sides, and four sides you can do with that as well. Yeah, doesn't matter. Now, I don't like the rest of prosperity because it's boring. I haven't played even one second of the game, so it will be interesting to see if we can manage it. So we'll play on the edge. Yeah, at least this is under your work because I think one of the things that the game will be missing is a major campaign or something like that. Even a multiplayer campaign would be possible in a game like this, but it depends on what they do with their money because this is the huge question. You have a lot of games like let's say Valheim or They Are Billions where the developers just took all of that millions of dollars and never did anything with the money. They just kept it in the bank and that's it. it that's a very bad way to do games in my opinion because even if the game is successful, Nothing else happens. The game is successful and that's about it. The studio just becomes bigger and becomes a corporation and stuff like that. I mean, that happened more or less with Outward as well. The developers made a lot of money and what do they do with the money? They made some weird DLCs that were just weird and I don't think they are very disconnected from reality. To help this developer, if he gets a lot of money, he'll probably get a few million dollars. He will use that money, some of it at least, to just make the game faster and better. Don't just sit in six years of early access, make it, finish it in two years, max, and then just continue to improve on the game. That would be the best thing, but I doubt it. So, end the age, and we'll have to play on challenging. Now, the end game goal will be conquest. Again, I'm not even sure what map am I selecting. Look at the UI. I mean, beyond this, this is the only UI element you see for choosing your map. Hmm. Guess we have to make the off-map adversary present. Reactive, balanced. 
the AI will be balanced, okay, radar frequency. So I want frequent raids, raid, raider three years. To be honest, ah, let's just get one year. <laughs> let's see what we have. Bandit camps, that's interesting, so you can have about five bandit camps in the beginning. I'm not sure for how long I'll play, but I'll try to finish at least one campaign until I die or until I win. Probably I'll be destroyed. So, five initial camps, and five of them will spawn if there are no bandit camps. Starting season will be spring. Summer. Yeah, we'll start in spring, setting supplies will be standard, double, nothing. Now we'll start with nothing. Uh, Armor and delivery engine. Uh, this is just the, the guards you get when you do your uh, whatever you do. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that on. Residential requirements will be balanced. Tolerant. Demanding. Uh, we'll keep this on balanced. Approval. Keep that on medium penalty, well placement. Underground water, okay, weather events will be balanced. Okay, this will be very interesting to play, so... Once again, I'm not sure, I'm, I don't understand what map we selected, I guess you select the map and then it stops selling. Again, just the UI elements prove that this game is in beta, at best in beta, if not alpha. So domination, radar frequency frequent, 1 year, 5-5, five, five, present, balanced, bring nothing, nothing at all, underground water, balanced, okay, let's begin. And that's, that's basically all you do in the beginning of the game, so sorry for the monologue, but I just want to wanted to say that in case the game gets very successful and doesn't get finished in a decent amount of time. Also, this year I've, starting to, I've started to buy my game and just forget all about promoting games entirely. Just, if the game is good, it's good. If not, I'll say my opinion about it. Life is too short to worry about... Getting a big YouTube channel. Huh. As for my graphical options, well, to be honest, there are not a lot of graphical options. Make sure you don't start with FSR on by default because mine was on by default. I introduce some sharpening. I guess I can put the sharpening on high and volumetric clouds. You can see you start in a region and there are more regions to the map, so this could be vastly improved. In all influence, of influence. So three, six, eight. So that's everything that there is to the map. This map is much better than the banner lore map, but at the same time, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, misleading because you think you can play on the entire map, but you cannot do that. And you also have to be very careful what do your neighbors do. We have Island Deposit, Buried Deposit, Stone, Wild Animals, and Clay Deposit. Eh, that's not so bad. Wait, where is my tent? Yeah, over there. We started in a good area for food, I guess. You're great for great. You are born for great things, and if God wills it. Great things you will achieve. Okay, so people need food and fuel and roof over their heads. Rise in the region panel. Okay. okay, let's just go through the tutorials. This will be slow and annoying, but I will go through it. Okay, so guys will be here. But I guess the 
Yeah, I was happy. Yeah, the cow is the most happy living thing on this part of the world because we don't have anything. No one has anything, they're just living in tents. The cow only sees food and shelter everywhere it looks. Yes, it moves its tail. Remarkable. Okay, so we have construction to timber. Now yeah, let me look at this uh, over here. So my industry will be over there. What is that? Point, huh? I have to be careful because we can expand to the left but not to the right too much and I don't want to destroy the roads. Okay, buildings will be connected by roads. Well, fertility. How do you see soil fertility? Hmm. Well, the soil is very much lacking. I mean, soil fertility, they say how. And that's exactly the thing that is missing from over here. Yeah, this is a tough game to love, as you can see. I'm clicking continue and... Oh, okay, I have to click over there. Escape doesn't take you off to the menu. Okay, extension upgrades. Phil says about one more again. Heavy plow. Development point. So you just have a general fertility point from what I can see, right? Right. Okay. The main buildings will have to be related to resource gathering, and that's going to be a logging camp. Usually, I build my city depending on what I have near me. Does it bend over there like that? That's weird. Hmm. Oh wow, it's a bit annoying, but I guess it's okay. So the problem is, if you build it like this, as you can see, it will bend all over the place, but you don't really have control over it. So I guess you have to make visual measurements mostly so it's a straight line and not a curved one okay yeah i start slow but oh walks in i start slow but then i pick up a lot of speed i imagine we need to build houses and some other stuff what supplies we have only two timber a lot of space yeah I guess we'll have to expand to the bottom a little bit 
Usually I like to have my houses on top or in the north and the windows in the south, but I guess that would be a little harder on this map. But I can just go to the right. Probably I should just go to the right, considering how the map is laid out. I am not sure what I'm doing, but let's see. Prepare for the attack? What attack? I am not even sure what I'm doing. So this will produce timber. It will produce firewood. It will produce planks. Okay. Now, what do I need to just build a house? Can I just build a house? Timber. A boar gauge plot. Okay, the tutorials are very much lacking. Uh, how many people do we have? We have five people, and I think. This will be two people occupied, right? No, it can hold up to three people. Okay, we probably need to have five people over there. Okay, I like that. No, I will not play with any of that for now. Wait, how does this work? I'm trying to build a house. Why is it so hard to build a house? Okay, you have to build it with school. Ah, oh, come on, really? See, I don't like this type of building. I'm kind of like those school of building where you just have your interface. So what will, what is the point? Do they need more space? Tutorial is so lacking. I don't like this. This is definitely not something I enjoy. Building system. Too small, that was for one house. That's for one house or for zero houses. I don't get it at all. Why is it always crooked? Yeah, this is going to take a while. As you can see, I'm just trying to figure out why is it like, why can I just not build a predetermined one? Why is it, why is that one with the highlights near it and the other this other one doesn't have anything like that?
I don't know what that was about. They're using the oak to transport the wood. We have some homeless people and three of the families are working over here. And our current supplies... are not very good. Hmm. We can order new animals over here or we can even upgrade it. With timber. No food, so let's see about that food situation. Not farming, mining, or this, but just trade. Gathering will be over here, Forester Hut. Can I stay where the street? Yeah, but how do you see the, how do you see the pathways to this place? I mean, where do you see the road that I built? I have no idea what I'm doing because yeah it's missing a lot of features that would have, would have enjoyed to be in the game. Family is hungry. Eh, well I guess we should have started with some supplies. We'll need to dig the foundation deeper for this one. Highest priority. Okay, now we can fast forward. So as you can see, the game is very, very hard to understand and very slow to get going. Probably will lose the first time we are playing, but I don't care. I, it's just a, an experience. We need to learn more about the game. I can tell you one thing. I was expecting a lot more from the game. Summer's coming soon. Yeah, I just don't understand why they designed this like uh, why they, why do they have to make it so annoying so i guess you can only build a house and the house will have other stuff it can deal that's so annoying yeah good luck with this tutorial i don't like it at all because the way it's designed you, you can build a house and the the house will have some room for other improvements as well but the way i build this one over here that means it will just be the house in a little bit of backyard area Soon the beating sun. As you can see, I cannot just link them like that to be... Yeah, it's annoying. I don't like the building system. Who designed stuff like this? I guess it will never be perfect. Look at this. Uh, oh man, not really. I know they're trying to help me, but... Not really working out as intended, is it? Does, the building system doesn't make sense to me. It's very hard to get used to it. Especially if you already try. Oh, wow. What does that mean? We have two houses over here. Why is it so crooked? I don't get it. I don't understand this system. It's so weird and annoying. Can you just not build it in a straight line? Do we always have to be this annoying? Fine. It's a house and it has a backyard. Sold. 
So, where is the people I can assign? Four people. Oh, we have 11 people and four of them are assigned, so we can even have more people. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. That was the overlay thing. Now, wait. Barley, rye. What is. What counts as food in this game? Wheat. Where is my wheat? Uh, yeah, I don't know. The game is great as a concept, but as you can see, you will have a lot of problems figuring things out in the beginning. And that's that's not so bad, but I just wish they had more support for the game itself. Well, work in progress. Hazard. Okay, where is my grain? is MR. Do I really have to google it right now because the game doesn't have proper tooltips? First grain to flour. Wheat. Flax and barley. Barley. Because that's... Looks like it's more or less the same, so yeah, I guess we'll have to build something over here. I don't like this system of building. Oh, don't cross the border. Wait a minute, so this is just a communal point for the farm, as I understand it. That's just a field. The farmhouse needs something entirely different. Rats, it's so weird. Oh, now I can build a proper thing. I don't want that too far away though. But you rotated. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's actually a pretty good area, I guess. Yes, yes, it, it, it beginning to understand what I want. But how much do I need? Yeah, this is what we'll be doing in the first episode or in the first hour of the game. This really needs a lot more work. This does my opinion. Our houses and performance are talking the field. Wheat, yeah. That's the best decision for wheat. You can play more. So now that I have the food situated or sorted out, I guess I have to look at my houses again. Not very clear what we would need to do. It says families. How many families can they accommodate? What is a family? Is it one people, two people, three people? I guess we have two plus one and homeless. But so we can make more houses. Don't forget to check the level of the foundation. Shut up, no one asked you. Splendid work on the roof, good sirs.
Yeah, this is why I don't like this free reform building. It doesn't seem like it will tell me what I'll get. So these houses will have some backyard, but I want some houses without any backyard. Just to fill in all the, the slots over here. Okay, we have more people joining us. How is the food situation? The food situation is not so bad. I guess you have berries, a lot of berries. Where do they store all of them? In the pantry. I guess one person or one family the same there is enough. We have more than what we need for the logging. Yeah, I want to clear out this whole area so we can expand our little city. So... Okay. The wild animals are all the way over there. I guess we don't need to go there if we have the food and some of the other stuff that is necessary. Army. No army is detected. What about trading? How does trading work? Iron slabs, clay to clay tiles, iron ore to iron slabs. Not very clear if I need to go over there or if you should build houses near. I don't know. It's weird. It's a good game, as you can see, but it's, it's missing a lot of other stuff. It's barely worth. It's barely worth trying to understand it. You might as well go and read, read the guide or something. I don't know. We'll just have to see how this evolves. See you next time. Bye bye.